Now, there's a pretty good reason why me and Gaz will never be very good at golf. And hopefully this isn't you. Let's explain. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Watch it, That's never happened to you before. Oh, oh. What's your course record? I did a 500. Uh, <laughs> I left him hanging a bit there. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first. First things first, Gaz, how are we? Brilliant. 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 I think there'll be a few people jealous of us this week. But... Yeah, we, we've snuck out to uh, Dubai this week. We're filming today at Arabian Ranches to bring you guys some content. And, um, well, we landed at 2... We landed at 2 a.m., was it? Yeah, 2 a.m. 2 a.m., it's now 12 midday-ish and we're going to get into it but basically there's a few reasons why we're just never going to be good at golf mate isn't it? No. we're going to have a match we're going to discuss it um and we we're going to work it out on the first hole didn't we, we did work it out on the first hole mate didn't we yeah <laughs> right i'll let you go mate we just thought actually we'd start this video on um doesn't say it on there but stroke index we just thought we'd start this video on stroke index one the hardest hole because obviously why not away you go guys That sounded incredible, was that good? Yeah, just left side. Loosened up? <laughs> Not quite, three weeks off. Right, well I'm going to hit driver, Gaz, because, um, why not? What was it you said? You you want to just hit drivers anyway, but you don't... Well, I just want to try and find a sweet spot to start with, three weeks off. The, the, the underlying story is, we've not been on the range, we've not been on the putting green, we've not really done much, uh, but we're filming, so... Where are you, middle? Left off. Started it middle, fading a bit. Fading, did you hear that? Fading. I'll Just... tell you what, at least we're getting raw footage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so basically what's happened is we landed early. Uh, we had a meeting just to discuss what kind of content we we're going to do with the guys here at Arabian Ranchers. Right guys, we've found it. Costco ball. Kirkland, yeah. That's <laughs> what I'd try them. So basically what's happened here, if they couldn't hear us on the buggy, we landed at 2am, we had a meeting with the guys here at Arabian Ranchers just to see what we're going to film and when we can get tea times and things. And then he said, well, do you want to go at half past two, hit some balls, have a putt, kind of loosen yourself off after the flight, or do you want to go in 10 minutes time? And we thought, well, the pubs are open later and things like that. Basically, we didn't hit any balls, we didn't have a putt. And that's one of the reasons why I feel like sometimes we shortchange ourselves a bit. The yeah. first few holes, I'm not going to lie, we're on like the fifth or sixth hole now. And the first few holes weren't amazing, were they? No, I mean, obviously, it made us question why we didn't have a warm-up. Yeah. Um, but I think it's getting that balance, isn't it? You know, some people like to practice on course and some like to practice on range. And, and we chose course. Yeah, so guys, actually, in interest, guys, hit those comments below. Are you a range rat? Do you love hitting ball after ball after ball on the range? or you're more like us, go out on the course, accept the first few holes are probably going to be terrible, but that can be a warm-up. Right guys, what you got in? Uh, five iron. Tell you what, your three woods up with my driver as well. Oh, he's ripped that. That's a great strike. Yeah, front left, good, good effort. Yeah. Not bad. Right, well, Gaz hit five iron. I'm going to... So I'm not going to hit four iron. Slightly into, yeah. I'm going to hit four iron. I'm going to go Chris's. Chris would tell me to hit four iron here, I think. I'm trying to play a fade all week. Go back to my roots. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, be good, please. Oh, shit, flag! Shit, flag. <laughs> it's going to be down with mine. <laughs> Quality. That's never happened to me before. You know, like it cannoned off. Unlucky that. So basically, guys, yeah, you never need a warm up. You never need to hit the range, and don't bother with a putt because just take the flags out of the ground. <laughs> right. Well, I definitely think there's something in this trying to hit a fade, guys, because that's um, for me what like it's just just better, isn't well, you it? You absolutely played it, didn't you? Yeah. Set off just left and faded and hit flag. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Yeah, I think potentially so, yeah. That one Look where it's finished as well. It's hit it there and then all the way over there. Right, Gaz has come up just short. And uh, apologies, no flags were harmed in the making of this video. Something like that. 
Oh, this looks good. Oh, it's got the pace. See, that's another one where if you're on the putting green and you get the pace, that's probably better, isn't it? Yeah. Is that circle? Nah, it's just outside, I think, that pal. Can't that far away, that's good. Having a putt, well, we're five holdings, so we can't really blame that, can we? But that was terrible. I've not lost my turn. <laughs> I'm just pleased you didn't go down there. I thought it was going to go all the way down. They are tricky to me. Oh, beautiful. Yes. I didn't think I'd have this one for an hour. <laughs> Are we, are we playing for a beverage? Yeah mate, we're playing for playing for a pint, which out here means a lot more, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, I better double line the subs. <laughs> it's not three pound anymore. It's not three pound anymore. Ah. Uh. deserves a fifth pub that. <laughs> Yeah, because if you've not been out to the buy, it's about twelve, thirteen pound a pint, isn't it? So, yeah. and you're not buying them in happy hour either. If you we're definitely uh, not if playing you double or quick. So interestingly, guys, we're saying there that if you're that guy who does enjoy hitting a lot of golf balls before you play, and you feel like you can't maybe transfer it onto the golf course, hopefully we're going to give you a bit of kind of knowledge and insight in this video as well as a laugh. But what what would you say to people, guys? Well, well, I would say you know it is a bit of a balance, you know, and I think maybe that you need to try and put some of your practice more onto course. Yeah. You know, and then you've got them visualizations when you get to course to be able to to pull it off in play, you know, yeah. rather than just seeing a driving range. And I think a lot of people, especially coming out of lockdown, will have hit maybe balls in the home, in the garden, in wherever. You might go to the driving range yeah. to get back into it. Bringing it out on a golf course is a totally different thing, and it isn't it? It's frustrating. You know, we've been there, haven't we? We've hit many yeah. balls on driving range and we don't get results on course, and you become a bad loser. And sometimes you've just got to get out on course. Definitely, definitely. And I, I massively think that I can strike it on a range like all day. Yeah. Step on a first tee and it's a four left just before you've, even, before you've even started. Yeah. Anyway, level, level. Right, guys, sixth hole, I'm going to go driver again. I'm and you raised a really interesting point there where if you're that guy who gets on the golf course and can't find the middle of the club, maybe you need to go on the range. Like, yeah. We should have gone on the range today. On the flip side, yeah, if you're struggling to find a club like we were on first few holes, then you do need to hit range, maybe have a lesson. Yeah, we should have definitely gone on the range. We should have definitely had a putt. But then, like we were saying, like we, we made this video because we are who we are and like yeah. it's, not, it's not in our makeup, is it, to, to sort of go and do that? I mean, we don't sort of sometimes go on a golf course thinking, right, let's see if we can have his best score today. No, you we, know. like today we've come out to loosen up, get some fresh air, get used to the time zone and yeah. have a bit of fun. And that's generally what we do. You go in... Uh, if, not that, if that's what makes you enjoy golf, then, you know... Have you left your driver in the airport, guys? I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to fight middle of the club. <laughs> <laughs> go on, I'll let you go. Maybe I should have been doing this on range. Yeah. So guys, I really hope you're enjoying this video and I really hope that you are. So guys, I really hope you're enjoying this video and I hope you're taking a few insights from it and a few laughs from it. Uh, also guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell if you haven't already. A lot of people are saying, I'm speaking so fast there, a lot of people are saying they're not getting notified, the videos aren't coming through. Make sure you've got all your notifications on then you won't miss them. You don't want to miss them, guys, do you? Yeah, and I think, you know, again, I think you should think about what type of player you are, you know, and wh where should you be spending your time. I like how he's looped that back round into the conversation, good lad. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> right, guys, you've avoided that GUR wonderfully. That's a big three, was that? Yeah, I've got uh, 76 left, so. Hole was 360, so that's 290. Uh, and I've, I've smashed that drive. I've got to apologise to that greenkeeper because that must have been on him. He's left now, mate, and he? he's, 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 done he's not bothered with the other half of the fairway. I think I might be too close there, actually. That's terrible well, course. These are the distances, I think, where, you know, if you haven't practiced and warmed up, then oh, you're going to yeah. suffer, aren't you? You're going to Damien this one, definitely. Not full swing and... Don't Damien, mate. <laughs> oh, 
thought I took it off top and said that. It's done well though. Not bad. That's a lovely shot, well done. Didn't get anywhere near it to. <laughs> right, we'll let Gaz bring the buggy round and I've. Uh... I've left myself an absolute shocker of a shot here. That any sit, sit, go in. Oh. 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 So in the title of this video, obviously there is a little bit of needle in it in that we're saying we're never going to be good. Now we are pros in kind of inverted commas, PJ pros, teaching pros. We spend our life not necessarily playing golf, but talking about golf, teaching golf. And I think a big part of it is the level that we want to play to, and I know Gaz is like twigging on now, the level we aspire to play to is too high. Basically, we're never gonna play to the level we want to play to, because good, what do you think is good golf, Gaz? Um, Bearing in mind, so you've won a few PGA events, haven't you? Yeah. What, what's your course record at Running Park? I did a five under. Five under, like that's good golf, innit, in anyone's book. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm not gonna be shooting that kind of golf anymore, because I just have time to, you know, play, you know, yeah. and practice that hard. Um, so for me, I get pleasure in trying to play scratch golf. You yeah. Know. My goal is to play to par if I can. Right, mate, I think you're gonna need this for the half because I've uh, knocked it inside you. Turn, turn, turn. Pick it up. Is that in the circle? Taste the Peroni now. I think that's one down, that Gaz. Good bit. I said we're not um, putting much of a. No, this is not right. Can I leave that? <laughs> what are you say? I'm gonna say something about practice. We're not. Well, we're I not. Just are think we? words aren't right. But, but what I was trying to say is. Uh... You are, you having that putter now? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, at least we're not closing on a 210 yard par three, Gaz. Um, yeah, what you were saying there. In a minute, we're not much of an advocate for practice. But then we're, we're, set, we're eight holes in now, so we've had yeah. the warm, haven't we? We've had the loose enough. But and we, do, we do recommend getting a good balance. You should definitely, and it's one thing which I wish I would do more of, like I wish I'd listen to what I tell people to do. Yeah. But then when you when you spend your life doing what we do, it's this is more fun, isn't it? It is, so. yeah, we get a pleasure from you, we always have. You know. you go to, ain't you? What are you going for? I've got the free, yeah. Three. So we need a W to save a fortune. Yeah. Love him. See, this is it. Pre prepare to plan. Plan to no. Fail to prepare. My gloves in. I'm not going back for it. Right. Fade again, guys. Start it just left side of the green. Bring it back. Is that bunker a good miss? Yeah. Somebody learn how to play! <laughs> You're gonna have to be at it. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and I play a fade. Yes. Well struck, he's leaning a bit. That is awesome. Is it? Yeah, that is right at it. It's all dependent on length, but that's... <laughs> I'm really happy with that. No, I'll tell you what mate, I'm quite, uh, quite happy with this. Bodes well for the trip, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, we're up here and he can't see it. He's getting a wedge out of the bag as well. We can see mine just it sitting pretty. It can only pretty. be long or in all. Oh, all right. And you see, we are saying like, it is nice to play. Look at him looking up there. He's not up there. It is nice to play well, but I feel like today, often when I play, I'm kind of clutching for a feeling, for a thought. Not in the hole, mate, no? Often when I play, I <laughs> shot. Often when I play, I'm clutching for a feeling, for a thought, and often that doesn't work. Today, trying to swing the club left, trying to hit a fade, obviously you've seen I'm putting quite well within range, sort of. That's working, that's saving me, so maybe it's just more luck than judgment today. Not looking good. Maybe oh. it isn't a for me. <laughs> I did find distance was a problem with them. I didn't think that uh, I'd be short with that. Yeah, I mean, I have it two iron, mate, and I've hit it really well. 
Right, biggest shot of the trip so far for you. I hadn't even got the right foot in. You see, mine's pitched here and then run up to there. Big shot. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> what a shot. That was absolutely unreal, guys. Two points for an Uncle Tony. Is that in the circle? Come on then mate, finish her off. We're not playing for a, a weather cold car in here. <laughs> it's a it's a a barastic corona. Well alright that. Left it short for the pint as well. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is first blood. Yes! Come on! So guys, really hope you've enjoyed that. I hope we've kind of discussed a few logical points for you. I know a lot of people be saying, why don't you just go on the range? And to be honest, that's pretty much what we say as well. So we are going to try and... We should warm up. We, we should warm, warm up. up. We should do more. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you have, smash that subscribe button below. Ring the notification bell. Leave us a like, all the good stuff. And we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Oi! Sound test, sound test. Say something, guys. Nice to see you. Sound test, sound test. New battery, guys, say something. Aye. Sound test, sound test, sound test. Guys, say something.